Hi, this is Rachel, and we're going to look at perimeter and area of shapes. So I have three shapes here. I have a rectangle, a triangle, and a circle. And I'm going to find the perimeter and then the area of each. So you'll notice that I've called the perimeter uh, for these two shapes. So rectangles and triangles have perimeters. However, circles are a little bit special and circles perimeter is called the circumference. So that's why this one's got a slightly different name, but it means the same thing. So let's have a look at this. So let's start off with what a perimeter actually is. So perimeter is the length of the outside of the shape. So in the rectangle, it's the lengths of all these sides added together. In a triangle, it's the same, so just the three sides added together. And with a circle, it's the length of this outside part. So let's start with our rectangle. So I have two long sides that are five centimeters each and two short sides that are two centimeters each. So to find the length of the outside, I just add them together. So my perimeter is five plus five plus two plus two, which is 14. And that's in centimeters because it's just a length. So just the length of the outside of the shape. Now let's look at the triangle. So we're just looking at the outside length. So we've got three centimeters along the bottom. We've got four centimeters there and we've got four centimeters there. So we are doing three plus four plus four. Well, four plus four is eight plus three is 11. And again, that's just in centimetres. Although the units don't have to be centimetres, it could be any units of length. So for example, metres. And let's look at the circle last. So remember, this is our circumference. And circles have a special formula that we use to calculate the circumference, since obviously we can't add length to the sides because it doesn't have any. So the circumference formula is 2 pi r. And what that means is 2 times pi times r, where r is the radius, which is the distance from the centre of the circle to the outside. So here I've got a radius of 6, and pi is just a number. So you have a pi symbol on your calculator, um, but it's roughly 3.14 if you prefer to use that. So using 2 times pi times the radius, so my radius is 6, that's the calculation we're doing, let me grab a calculator, okay, so we're doing 2 times, now on my calculator my pi is this little yellow symbol down here, so I go to shift, pi, and you can see it come up on the screen as pi, so that uses the full pi number rather than just 3.14, and I'm timesing that by 6, which gives me 37.699, which I'm going to round to 37.7. And again, it's just a length, so it's in centimetres. Great. So that's perimeter and circumference of shapes. And it's all shapes just add up the length of the sides. The only one that's different is this circle. Lovely. Okay. So let's move on to our area. So I'm just going to write area down here. And we can find an area for all of these as well. So I'm going to start with my rectangle again. My area for a rectangle is base times height. So this is my base here. It means the bottom of the shape, essentially. And my height is up the side here. So my base is 5, my height is 2, so I'm doing 5 times 2. So notice this time it's a multiply, not an add. So 5 times 2 is 10. And my area 
is in units squared. So my units here are centimeters and so it will be centimeters squared. So 10 centimeters squared is my area. It's worth noting while I'm on the tri uh, on the rectangle, sorry, that similar shapes, for example, if I have parallelograms that look like that, they work by the same principle. So this is the base and our height is the height of the shape. Don't be fooled by these diagonals. So it's just the height, but they work the same. So they're base times height. Okay. Let's move on to our triangle. So area for a triangle is base times height divided by two. So in this triangle, my base is along here again the bottom side of the shape so that is three times my height which this time again don't be fooled by these diagonals just like you didn't in the parallelogram we want the height which is this centered line here so from the bottom of the shape to the top of the shape in a straight line and that is three as well okay and then divide by two so three times three is nine divided by 2 is 4.5 and again because it's an area my units are units squared so it's centimeter squared I'm going to underline this one too there we go okay and then we come to our friendly awkward one the circle so the circle once again works slightly differently it has um, a different formula again. So this time the area of a circle is pi r squared, which means pi times r squared. And if you remember our order of operations, our bod mass, bid mass, whatever you want to call it, we're doing the r squared first because the indices have to be done first. So that's really important when we're doing this um, area of a circle. So let's do the area of this one. So we've got pi and again you can just use 3.14 um, obviously depends on what your particular exam board wants but usually it's okay to use 3.14 but I prefer to use the pi on the calculator so it's pi times the radius which is still 6 and still this 6 squared so I'm going to do my 6 squared first. So 6 squared is 36. And so I've got pi times 36 and I'm going to grab my calculator again. Here it is. And I'm going to go shift pi. So now I've got pi times 36. And that gives me 113. And I'm just going to round this to 0.1. And again, it's centimetres squared. And that is the areas and perimeters of these shapes.